SR93 Boxing back with a quick video. Is Jesse Vargas on steroids? What do you guys think? I mean, Jesse Vargas, I remember when he was at 140, like he went from 147, moved down to 140. And he was never really a big, strong guy. He never was. He was never the strong, big puncher, no way. He was more of a technical boxer with some pop in his punches, some pop. And I remember even at 140 when Khan was at 140, Jesse Vargas, like Khan was a bigger puncher than Vargas. And Khan is like, he had power in 140, but he never had that type of power. He never had, uh, like, you know, he, he, he never had crazy power. And Jesse Vargas was never that, he was like, never that big physically, like he was kind of, he looked frail almost. Now it's not to say that that if someone improves their strength, power, especially their strength, it, that they're on stero they're on some shit. But you know, a lot of times fighters don't improve that. And Jesse Vargas went from 140, and he's on 147 right now. He is hitting harder pound for pound at 147 than he did at 140. He's physically big. Like I mean, look at him against Saddam Ali. You know, he was strong, really strong. I could not believe, because I've been following his career for a long time. I've been following a lot of these fighters' careers. And, you know, he looked... And plus, you know, after the fight, he had these acne, like these spots at the back. And it looked like he put, he probably is on steroids. I had a conversation with one person in my local gym. And, you know, I showed him the picture. I remember there's a guy called uh, Arab King. Shout out to Arab King. Go and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. He made this video and you know after this is when after I came back home. I give this um I was showed him the fight hype video of Jesse Vargas and on the side he had this acne. He's like I'm like yo this guy isn't that like steroids and whatever and he, he actually used these type of shit before. I don't know if he still uses it. But he goes, yeah, you do get acne, and that seems like he's on something. That he's not a boxing guy, by the way. So, um, but he's on that bodybuilding and stuff, you know. And combine the fact that I have never seen Jesse Vargas to be that big and that strong. Those two things combined makes me think that he might just be on steroid. He might just be on something, right? He might be juicing. So that's kind of what I think. But then again, apparently he's been tested. I don't really know. I haven't. The only thing I know is, actually, I don't even know this. But is is Jesse Vargas even being tested for the Pacquiao fight? I need to research this. Wait, let me hold on. No, I can't really find anything too significant for me for them to tell me that for anything to kind of give me the indication that Jesse Vargas and Pacquiao is not. Doing a drug test, whether they're doing a drug test or not. But you know, even if they are doing a drug test, it's not like it is possible to cycle off the test. I actually think Jesse Vargas is on something. I really think he he just displaying this crazy amount of strength, power. Power is hard to improve because it's a lot of his technique and strength. But even when you improve strength, you don't just immediately improve power. But Jesse Vargas seems to. He seems to be extremely strong, uh, relentless. He, man, I, I've never seen him like that. I've never seen Jesse Vargas. Like, you look at five years before, he was never like this. Like, you know, no matter how much you improve, there's always some attributes of you that kind of stays with you. And, you know, something like strength, power, doesn't really carry up that carry that well as you go up the weights. And you know, all of a sudden, Jesse Vargas is able to do it and doing a kind of. He, he had great power against Saddam Ali. Great power. Yeah, great tactics as well. But you know, I think I think he's on something. So that's kind of what I have to say. I'll be back with quick videos soon. But for now, I'm out.